get straight back into it with Friday's Times and Racial language, never acceptable. Josh, what's this? Indeed. Bank manager unfairly sacked for using the N-word tribunal rules. So this is a Lloyds bank manager. This is um, during a training session. And in the process of this training session, he said the N-word in full. So he said the full, the proper, the... But he wasn't, apparently they found he wasn't saying it. he wasn't saying it as a slur. He was using it as an example because this was a session dealing with these kind of issues and they're in the argument this is in the court they're basically saying that because he's dyslexic he couldn't verbalize himself well enough so he said the word uh, yeah i've got dyslexia but i can still say just it, yeah. uh, i'd it's rather you a, didn't um it th- was uh, nat west because this was barclay so okay. they say the, ah, nat west. Was, was now, the thing about this nick is it, it's almost as though when it comes to this particular uh, racial slur. There is context is completely irrelevant in terms of the way that it's treated. There was a, a story in America where an academic quoted a James Baldwin uh, piece of work which used the word. It was in quotations in a literary class and still got fired. Yeah. Now, this seems to me mad. Well, I might argue the opposite, that context is hyper-relevant to the point of neuroticism, i.e., if you're a rapper saying it in a song, you can say it as much as you like, or if you're of the correct race. The classic example was Kendrick Lamar brought someone on stage to rap. She sang his lyrics, and he suddenly stopped it and told her off because she was white. So it's this absurd thing where one group could say it in a massive amount, another group will get sacked and destroyed if they say it once. It's kind of very tense situation. But it's about intent, surely. It's about I intent, mean, that's and, got and to be the... It, but the exactly. But the two things that are also mental about this story is... Uh, the first thing is, look, and it's a, it's a terrible word, right? But uh, the person who was leading this um, this training session yes. supposedly said, first of all, that to speak freely and to learn and to be clumsy. So this was like invited. And then the moment that he said it, <laughs> Not this, this person then took five days leave to recover. Now, I'm of an ethnicity. If people say certain words to me, I've heard... It can be upsetting, but you don't need to take five days. And she launched a a vitriolic attack on him and in turn on him. But he apparently just blurted things out due to his dyslexia. The only thing I'm not don't understand, I thought that was Tourette's, so I don't but he had problems with the I think he just can't articulate himself well. Yeah, Yeah, so it's very harsh.